Hello, Claire Yosa here, and welcome to this week's edition of Soul Size Wednesdays. Now, I promised last week that this week I would spill the beans on some of the stuff we're unconsciously consuming that's having a really negative effect on our experience of life. And I want to come at this from a number of angles today. You see, one of the things we're doing at the moment at home is we're doing a very nice detox, which means that we don't get to eat loads of our favorite foods and we're doing kind of quite a big clear out inside and out because the power of your food to impact your mood, your ability to think clearly, um, your, your ability to feel happy even is phenomenal. So that's the first angle I want to take today is are you eating yourself miserable? I've got a bonus article for you on my website in the link below this video, uh, five, five warning signs that you're eating yourself miserable. But the thing is, I didn't realize till fairly recently that things like serotonin, which is responsible as the neurotransmitter in the brain for some of your happiness feelings is actually produced in your gut. And if you're eating food that's causing your gut to get out of balance, it actually interferes with the nutrient absorption and it interferes with the production of serotonin. So there is a direct link agreed by scientists that proves what the ancients have known for thousands of years, that if you eat the wrong stuff, you will feel bad. You'll feel tired, sluggish, miserable, even depressed. So it's really worth looking at your diet and looking at what you're consuming on a daily basis for your food and why you're consuming it. What's the emotional need that that food is meeting? Because when you deal with those emotional unmet needs, it's amazing how much easier it is to eat food that your body will love. Now, the second element of what you're consuming that I'd love to cover today is the stuff that bombards us all day. There's been some really horrific stuff in the news this week, which has really rocked a lot of people and personally I don't really watch the news I do my best to avoid the radio news I listen enough to know that I'm up to date with current affairs but I've had friends who were avid news watchers this week who said you know what enough basta I'm not watching the news anymore I need a month's break I need to find a way to rebalance what's coming in as information to find the stuff that is also positive because whilst there is terrible stuff happening in the world there is also amazing stuff happening we just don't get to hear about it so what you consume the news you read the magazines you read the images you take in the Facebook posts you engage with the videos you watch the radio you listen to all of this comes in at an unconscious level and the body has to process it before the mind chooses whether to pay it attention. So if you're reading stuff that's bombarding you with negativity, it's going to be almost impossible for you to feel happy, calm, grounded and inspired. And if you want to make a difference in the world, you need to be able to do all of those things. So I invite you again for the next week just to become a conscious consumer of what's coming into your life from an information point of view. Then there's a third aspect of things that we consume unconsciously. This has to do with our beliefs. We consume and hold and feed our beliefs without even thinking about it. Our excuses, our fears and our worries. So if you feel like it, how about diving in and looking at something you really want to create in your life that you could feel you're blocking at some level or you're resisting or you're scared of it? And there's a simple question you can ask yourself. I can't do this because, and whatever comes out at your because, are the beliefs either consciously held or unconsciously held, or the excuses or the fears that if you dealt with them, then what you want to achieve becomes so much easier. So my invitation to you again this week, if this bit resonates with you, become a conscious consumer of your beliefs and your excuses. And if some of them need their marching orders, it's time for them to go. Show them the door. So those are three ways what we consume has a massive impact on our life. That is a whistle stop tour. One of the other things I've been discussing with a mentoring client this week is how can you spot the things that are no good for you? How can you spot the things that are dragging you down? And it comes back to intuition, to that inner wisdom, that inner knowing. Your thinking mind is the bit that tells you the stories and the drama and the emotion, and it creates the problems and it creates the stuckness. Your intuition, your inner knowing always has the answers. So I've got a gift for you today, which I'm really excited to get to share with you. For those of you who would love to tap into your intuition to be able to easily tell, for example, is a particular food going to lift your mood or crash it? Is that piece of news really something that's important to you? How can you find ways of finding good news instead? Or how can you handle your limiting beliefs more healthily? If you'd love to connect with your intuition on any of that stuff, 
Come and join me for free. I've got a five day intuition kickstart I want to share with you where I am taking you through five simple steps that will help you get clarity about what intuition is to you and what it's not. Some of the ways you've been blocking it, how to get over some of your fears of maybe trusting it, particularly if it's backfired in the past, how to get people to listen if you're living in a left brain world and they're obsessed with data, and how you can dive in more deeply. This free five day course is yours. Click on the link below this video to come and join me free today and I would love to share it with you. I hope you have a fantastic week. Cleo, signing off back soon with another Soul Size Wednesday.